Good evening, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Russian Radio, Sino Land in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And I'm so happy to have on the uh, show tonight Ms. Uh, Julie Wu. How are you doing tonight, Julie? I just uh, finished my meeting, uh, my, my work meeting, my business meeting with my colleagues. So I'm, I'm fine now. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, Julie Wu is in uh, is in uh, Xiamen uh, in um, uh, in China. Uh, she is a mother, a wife, and a uh, professor. And uh, f before we get started, I would like to thank uh, our mutual good mutual friend Eric Arno, who put us in touch uh, t together. I really appreciate it. Um, Julie, please tell the fans out there a, a little bit about yourself and what you and your husband do in uh, Xiamen. Uh, uh, my wife, daughter, and I, we spent two weeks in Xiamen area and just loved it. Uh, it's called the Garden City, if you all don't know. Uh, and um, uh, for a reason, it's just beautiful. And the people and the food and the history are great. So I understand why you're living there. You're very lucky, Julie. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Hi, Jeff. Uh, my name is Julie Wu. My, uh, I, I work as a professor at a university in Xiamen. I teach advertising, actually, and I also work as a, a branding consultant for a robot company in Guangzhou. <laughs> my husband and I, yeah, my husband and I live in Xiamen, which is a, a coastside city of uh, Chi uh, the Republic of China, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Republic of China, yeah. yeah. And my husband is a businessman. He do business with the Japanese man. Uh, so my husband and I and my three years old daughter live in an apartment in the Shaman Island. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, what are you doing? Obviously, the COVID nineteen virus is a huge concern. Uh, uh, and I'm sure you all are uh, uh, thinking about your all's daughter. How are you all handling that with her? Um, when the uh, COVID-19 is coming, actually, I'm in the winter holiday, and my uh, parents come to Xiamen from Hunan province uh, to my home to my home in uh, in Xiamen to have the New uh, New Year Year festival. Uh, in Chinese, the means Chun Jie, which is the most important festival in our uh, uh, in, in, in China. So um, my f parents and my parents-in-law are all in Xiamen City. Uh, my daughter is also in the winter holiday, so she is staying at home when the COVID-19 is coming. Now she stopped. Uh, she is not. Uh, uh, she is forbidden. Uh, she is forbidden playing outside. Uh, so she just to stay at home and we don't know when the kindergarten will open, uh, reopen, I should say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Julie, can I ask you to adjust your camera? Your, I mean, your uh, your computer. Can you move your computer? No, do you mean um, my face is dark in, in your camera? No, no, it's just you're right on the edge of the of the field of view. And so I'm, I just don't want your face cut off. No, it's the op. You need to go in the opposite. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'm no, you're going in the wrong direction. Go in the other direction. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that's better. Same direction. That's 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 a little bit better. I'm sorry. I just don't want. I don't want your face to get cut off in the. Okay. In the, all right. And so. Um, Tell us about what's going on in uh, Xiamen. I know there was a, a, a big lockdown in January and December and January. How has that changed now? And, and when you leave your compound, what, what happens? And what happens when you come back? And how about food and just things like that? Um, actually, Xiamen is in the south, uh, south China, so everything is OK in the city. Uh, we are allowed it to be out. Even in the January, even when, <laughs> even when the uh, when the COVID nineteen is coming to China, uh, to to our city, we are still allowed it to go out. Okay. We can get any food and necessaries we want, uh, but we need to wear the masks whenever mm -hmm. we go out. Yeah. 
And who is supplying your mask? Is, are your businesses supplying your mask? Where are you all getting your masks? Um, at first, we should buy it by ourselves. So um, uh, 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 every people go to the drugstore to buy the masks. Mm -hmm. But soon the masks gone out. And then we just need to stay at home. But soon the government, the Shaman government told us that we can buy the mask from the government uh, by how to say, I don't know how to see the world. Um, they, they, they have a system, actually, an internet system. We can um, register on the system, tell them our my telephone number and my ID. Then they will uh, uh, t uh, uh, send me a text. Uh, a, oh, a, te text a text message. Me uh, yeah, a, a text message and tell me where I can buy it. So oh, I need really? to be a shaman citizen, citizen to buy it. Oh, if wow. I want to buy it, I need to be a shaman citizen. But it's very cheap. It's just uh, one yuan, one RMB for one mask. Wow. So it's very, very cheap. Like, 50, yeah. like so 50, 15 a, US cents. That's just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we can get the mask back from the government. Yeah. Wow, so the government is getting that involved in helping the people to uh, prevent yeah, the yeah, spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, what um, and so what about your uh, what about your workplaces? How you know how are you, how are you and your are you in contact every day? I've talked to some Chinese, other Chinese. They have to send in their temperature every day, and they have to tell that they have to tell their 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 business or their school what their health status is. Are you all doing that too? Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to tell our colleagues about our temperatures, our health status, uh, to the to the uh, to the manage uh, uh, to the university uh, colleague. And they will. Um, they also arrange us to uh, teach online from last week. So actually, we already start our teaching work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not so convenient, but the students need to go back to uh, study. So mm -hmm. we did it online. Yeah. Do you think that uh, because of this and all the radical changes about um, having to teach online, do you think this is going to have a long-term impact on Chinese education? Do you think Chinese education might be mm. more willing to use online teaching in the future? Uh, I actually, I don't think so. Uh, the f uh, there is a huge difference between teach online and teach face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. Actually, most of the students and the teachers wants to go back to the classroom, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, because of the uh, the the the, the COVID nineteen, we need to stay online, stay at home to do the work. So, um, uh, my 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 student told me that they really want to go back to the to the <laughs> campus. <laughs> yeah, they really want to go back to the, to the campus. Me too, me too. We want to go go, go back. Uh, but now this is a situation there, uh, and the situation is much more complicated in the university. In the university, because uh, the students in the university come from different part of mm -hmm. China, and the English in China, uh, in different part of China, is totally different. So uh, maybe we would reopen the campus. In April, I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that uh, Hong Kong has postponed it now until April 20th. Supposedly, Shenzhen March 23rd. Uh, but I think the problem in uh, Hong Kong is they can't get masks, and um, they don't have a socialist uh, government, and so it's all you know for pro you know to make money. And so people are not able to get masks, uh, but uh, that problem has been solved in um, in China. Speaking of socialism, uh, you are a me <laughs> you <laughs> you're a member of the you're a member of the Chinese Communist yeah. Party, and I'm a member of the French Communist Party, so we're comrades. Uh, just tell us. Um, uh, has is the is the is is the party doing anything directly with you all, or are you you know as as far as the COVID, or they are they just doing it through the government and through the and uh, through the local the local committees, the neighborhood committees? How's that working? Um, 
Actually, I think the COVID-19 is a, a public crisis. So the government and the party try to do their best to protect the citizens. In Xiamen, um, every day we go out of the neighborhood. I mean, we go out, the, go out of the community. There are some staffs from the uh, community to test the temperature of our mm -hmm. body. And they won't let the outsiders to get into the uh, community freely. So they can protect uh, our uh, safety, uh, mm -hmm. keep, uh, protect us from the viruses. So actually the things in Xiamen city is getting better and much, much better now. And this, uh, today is Saturday. I went out with my uh, husband and my daughter to the seaside to oh, enjoy really? the weekend. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. it's oh, that's wonderful. And the beach and the beach yeah. in Xiamen is so beautiful. I just let such a yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, it was really, yeah we yeah. enjoyed the day. Yeah, my wife and my yeah. wife and daughter and I went out on the beach. Maybe the same one that you went to, and uh, and just loved it. So th so so you so you all, but you, all you have to do is just wear a mask, right? You just wear a mask, and then you can go out and go wherever yeah, you yeah, need. Yeah, I just to. need to wear a mask. Okay. Mask. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we don't have so many masks in uh, in China now, but we uh, cut our times to go out, so the mask would enough for us to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, right. today how good weather, then we go out. <laughs> 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 When I look at the media and the social media in China, I just, uh, you know, everybody that I've talked to in China says there's this incredible sense of solidarity, you know, uh, uh, as a yeah. nation, like going into battle. And uh, Xi Jinping even told Donald Trump uh, on, by telephone that it was a, that this fight was a people's war. And that's the same words, that the same name that Mao Zedong gave um, the uh, the the war in Korea when the United States dropped germ germ warfare on the Chinese in 1952. So what is your sense of? I mean, are are the do you really do you also feel like that the people are almost like on a war footing, like they're trying they're, they're like, like they're trying to to win a war? Yeah, actually, I think so because in this outbreak, I saw many great ordinary people, I should say great ordinary people. Um, for example, such as drivers, cartiers, and people in many industries, they are helping each other in their own way. Uh, in Wuhan, uh, I, I, I heard that some drivers are organized all by themselves to take doctors to and from work for free. For and free, some restaurants wow. even Yeah, some restaurants even provide free meals for the doctors. So I think the greatest people I see in this outbreak is ordinary one. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm 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 I'm, I'm very uh, moved by the what they did. Even if I'm not in Hunan, uh, Hubei province, I'm not in uh, Wuhan, Wuhan city. Yeah. I know people. Are, yeah, people are doing their best to try to help each other. That is the best point. And then there's 50 million uh, uh, overseas Chinese uh, Hua Chiao. And they have yeah. sent millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of uh, supplies and masks and disinfectant and food and and everything back to China and um, yeah. at, at their at their cost you know they're they're spending yeah, their own cost actually uh, yeah. because I have some students uh, study overseas uh, they are contact me in this winter holiday they contact me try to help try to donate money to the Wuhan city to the mm -hmm. Red Cross. So uh, I think uh, no matter where they are, if you are Chinese people, uh, if you are concerned with people who suffered in this crisis, they will do their own, uh, do, uh, do what they can to help. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, for example, my, my company, which I mean is the robot company, they, they donate some <laughs> cleaning machine robot to the one city yeah, to help the doctor to clean the, the floor. Wow, yeah. wow. I want, I, I want to buy one of your sweep, uh, 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 sweeping uh, floor cleaning robots for my wife. I think she'd like that. <laughs> she would like it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know. It. I, I know that you um, um, have seen some of the um, 
propaganda in the West. And it's very racist and very anti-Chinese, uh, trying to tie the virus to the Chinese to make the Chinese look bad. Uh, and it just just does not seem to end at all. They just keep coming out with it. How does that make you feel? I mean, when you see those these these kinds of fake news and things like that on Twitter and stuff, what are you thinking? I often go to Twitter or Instagram to check some information because there are actually a lot of information I can't uh, see, um, I can't read in this country, in China, especially uh, recently. Um, actually, I saw some, um, maybe some um, surprise, uh, uh, some some uh, some good news, but most of the news are not so good. <laughs> some of the news are even fake news. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I must admit it that China does not have. We don't have free press. We have a great war on the <laughs> internet, uh, but. In China, we get the, yeah. In China, we get the education that uh, press is actually the mouthpiece of party and people. So most of Chinese people think it's it's normal thing. We we accept it. Uh, but when I get out to see the things, especially about the COVID nineteen, they said in China, um, I'm a I'm a little bit angry about it because I know some of the news is not real. Some of the news hurt the emotion of Chinese people. Um, actually, uh, a lot of Chinese people do not have the way to get on Twitter to read these things, maybe because of the uh, they don't have VPN or maybe because the language reason. I don't know. Um, but uh, Chinese, most of Chin Chinese pe pe people do not believe that people would make fake news to uh, <laughs> hurt China, China's image. Most mm. people do not believe that, I think, especially about uh, even even myself. I don't want to blame people on uh, producing fake news to hurt China, uh, China's image because I always told myself and all, especially my student that uh, don't blame people on uh, on, the, on, on this fake news because they never come to China. They don't know how Chinese people live in this uh, mm -hmm. in this country, uh, but but I I've been to America before, and I also talk about this problem with this American friends. Uh, I told them that uh, actually we we, we are not we, we Chinese people average Chinese people is not we do not care about the uh, political things or uh, the ideologies things. We just want to make a living on this land together. And now we are doing good. So most of the people in this country, especially my friends, uh, my colleagues, my parents, my relatives, actually I see they make a good living there, and mm -hmm. they are most of the times they are happy there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, well, uh, at least I will say this: at least the Chinese uh, uh, government is honest with. Uh, their citizens and tell them that they do not have a free press and that the free and that the press is there to to ensure economic um, um, economic uh, 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 you know people for people to be able to make money for people to have uh, prosperity uh, social harmony um, and you know, you know winding you know as they, as they say winding and 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 Chinese and and so you all you all accept that. And uh, and uh, uh, and your but, but actually, actually, we we do have argument about this, especially mm -hmm. recent days on the internet, um, because uh, people uh, find that if there is no uh, free per, uh, press, uh, the the official press may uh, uh, may may refuse to release some informations that we we'll need in this mm -hmm. crisis in this public recite. Uh, a crisis. Mm -hmm. So, um, some people believe that uh, the lack of pr uh, free press may breed corruption and unsupervised power. Of, mm -hmm. of course, there are also some other people think that because China is big, uh, China has a big population, and people with varying uh, levels of education, they may misled by some fake news. So, uh, we don't need free press. 
actually I've told you that this is a very complicated thing. So mm -hmm. we can't get a conclusion now, but people are figuring about, uh, is, is there any way to make the, um, the, the, the press situation or the free press situation getting better? So we're, we're still, uh, we're still mm -hmm. thinking about this, uh, this, this problem, this uh, question. Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, in the West, it's it's an illusion. It's very, very, very controlled by the government, by corporations, by the military, by Wall Street. So we don't have a free press either, and we think we do. We think you know, ninety nine percent of of Europeans and Westerners and Americans, we have a free press, but it's not a free press at all. So I don't know what the right answer is. Um, uh, because, uh, but uh, I know I know that Americans, uh, Westerners, Westerners are living living a complete lie if they think that they have free press. Um, so I don't know I don't know how, I don't know how to solve that question. But I I think it's admirable that, that the Chinese are trying to deal with it in a in a uh, in a way that uh, that uh, is uh, beneficial for society. So yeah. uh, actually, I think. Go actually, ahead. Actually, I think. Yeah, actually, I think Chinese people, especially the educated Chinese people, knows more about Western countries than the Westerners knows about us. Oh, of course. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. No, I, that's the problem. Not, not just educated. Yeah. I have met many taxi drivers and waitresses and barbers and people working in stores. They know more about the United States and Europe than Americans and Europeans know about China. Yeah. So. I mean, some of these people they they know that they know the names of capitals and states and who the president was yeah, and who the presidents the were. And, all USA yeah, votes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They know everything. And most Americans couldn't find China on a globe if they if you asked them to even try to find China on yeah. a globe, they couldn't even find it. So uh, the Europeans are a little bit better, but um, but uh, yeah, the, I, it's not just educated. The Chinese are, I think, are pretty 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 savvy when it comes to understanding uh, well, you see, the world. <laughs> you see, this is a problem. They never know China. They, they don't know Chinese people. How Chinese people live in this country, how they make a living in this land, how they feel, how average Chinese people feel mm. about this country and about mm -hmm. this government. So what they say, I don't, I, I won't say that uh, it's totally fake, but I would say it's not neutral enough. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not neutral enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I won't say it's all fake news. I will say it's not neutral enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's very biased. Mm -hmm. Well, listen. Um, where do you think China will be in a year? I mean, do you? Ha I mean, this is obviously going to have an uh, an impact on on China. And what's where? Where will China be in one year? And the Chinese people be in one year? And do you think China will become stronger as a result of this? Mm. Um, as for average people. I seldom feel there is um, there is any big uh, stress on, on my life. Actually, I'm uh, quite confident about uh, this year, this year's economy of China, uh, because uh, most people stay at home for such a long time. <laughs> they are so eager to work. Yeah. <laughs> and so eager to go out for shopping or for tour. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm very confident on this. Yeah, I was uh, talking to uh, to a, a guy who owns a factory in uh, Shenzhen, and he said, "When this thing, when we go back to work, there's going to be a lot of overtime. You know, we've got a lot, we've got a lot of catching up to do, about a month's worth of work to catch up. Yeah. So I think maybe this quarter will will be down a bit, but I think yeah. the, the second For and long third." Time. Yeah, but the second and third quarter, there's going to be a huge increase in economic activity to make up for it. So, yeah. uh, uh, and the government also uh, uh, released some uh, policies to uh, to help the enterprises to get over mm -hmm. this crisis. Yeah, yeah, they, a lot of a lot of tax. Ta they 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 lowered the taxes yeah, yeah, and so, yeah. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, re regulations to help the uh, small and medium businesses and bank loans yeah. and and uh, and it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's really really impressive. Any last comments, uh, Julie? Before we say goodbye. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I think most of Chinese people do not have the 
uh, turn on or the tool to talk about us and about our life in China on Western media, such as Twitter and such as Facebook, because we all stay in China's internet. Uh, mm -hmm. If I have the chance to talk to people um, outside our world, or I mean in the Western country, I would say that even though the ideology and the political system is different between us, I don't know, I don't think people should hate us, hate each other because of that. Um, there is, once there is a famous Chinese scholar uh, said that tolerance is much more important than freedom. Uh, in this crisis, I still think so, and I would think so uh, in all my life. Yeah. I agree with it quite very much. Mm -hmm. Tolerance is much more th important than freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's absolutely. That's what I want to say. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that sounds like Lao Tzu or... Uh, <laughs> no, Lao Tzu, it's a... Uh, it's Hu Shi. I, oh, I don't know how you... Yeah. Yeah, yeah Husha. Husha. Okay, okay, very yeah. interesting. Actually, really. he went to America in his later life. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. That's amazing. Well, listen, listen, Julie. Thank you so much. Take care of your lovely daughter. Uh, take take uh, to say hello to your parents uh, and and your in laws who are helping take care of your daughter. I'd love to meet you and your husband someday. And um, <laughs> if you ever make it to Chiang Mai, uh, my wife and I would love to uh, to meet you. So I've uh, been to Chiang Mai for two times. Oh yeah. really? Okay. Yeah, I love that city. Yeah, yeah it's, it's lovely. A, yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's quite laid back. It's 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 quite nice. So I hope to come visit you all, and um, and and I and I and I and I want to shake hands with one of your robots. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> if you come to if you come to China, I will show you to the to the factory to the uh, robot company. I would hey. love to see it. Hey, listen, yeah. Ju listen, Julie. Thank you so much, and uh, really appreciate you're a busy mother, a busy professor, a busy wife, and and I really appreciate you sharing your. Um, China life, as you said, that's why I wanted to talk to you and other Chinese because people just have no idea what you all are, you know, what you all do on a daily basis. And mm -hmm. so it's just wonderful to hear from people like you uh, to uh, to share your to share your uh, thoughts and um, and uh, dreams. All right. Yeah, thank you. Hey, it's listen. An honor. Thank you. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll get you the uh, I'll get you the link as soon as I as soon as I get it um, as soon as as okay, soon of course. Pro of probably course. By, probably by tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I hope I look fine. <laughs> <laughs> you look <laughs> <on camera. laughs> You look great. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.